Three, two, one, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Amal, and joining me tonight, I have George, Andy, Mus, and Carl. We are the Monday Blues coming to you with the round three preview for North Melbourne versus the Baggers tomorrow at 4.20 p.m. at Marvel Stadium. It's been, uh, we've had a week off, had a good break. Um, the stress batteries are re now recharged. The anxiety batteries are recharged. Everything's good to go for Carlton to really, really bring it right back down again tomorrow night. Or maybe they won't. We don't know yet, but we'll find out tomorrow night. Let's go around the grounds and just see how everyone is doing and how the week off was for everyone. Georgie, how are you? Good. Refresh, recharge. Week off was good. I actually um, took the opportunity for the buy to, get, to go to Bali. <laughs> I booked it around the buy. I looked around the fixture. Yeah. Um, and uh, now it was good once I got there, of course, that is. So I don't know if anyone caught up with the news last Monday of the uh, crazy bogan lady who got the Jetstar flight turned around. Uh, I was on that flight. So that was very um, eventful. Um, yeah, she was never should have been allowed on that flight. But apparently, you know, you can pinch a bottle of wine from the uh, attendance trolley and neck it wow. and go around attempting to pee on people and spit on people and, what? and whatnot. She, she was. She was carrying on, man. Um, sounds like a Saturday night uh, like for, for you, Andy. <laughs> that's the yeah, standard Saturday. Just going around trying to piss on people. <laughs> she was, um, yeah. So it was eventful, very eventful flight. I, um, yeah, didn't want to. We had Channel Nine camera crew come to the come to the you know the uh, the queue at Jetstar um, afterwards and say, "Do you want to comment?" And I thought, you know, I don't want to lose my job, so I won't comment um on my thoughts on it but um no it was it was it was pretty hectic so got back i think 24 hour delay and then made it there like tuesday night had, had a nice few nights there um yeah other than that how'd you how'd you boys go mal how'd you go uh yeah i, I didn't do much it, we've just been fasting my my body clock is cooked <laughs> at the moment you wake up 5 30 in the morning you have it something to eat um have you know you pray and then and then you're like oh i might stay up and then half an hour later you, you, you're back asleep it's it's uh my body clock and i know musa's body clock is cooked i know carl's body clock is cooked as well we're probably all in the same boat um but from a stress perspective from an anxiety perspective everything's i'm good i'm ready to go for the for at least up until round 14 or round 15 which is when our next buy is hopefully we can um we can make the most of the batteries uh until then andy how are you good man excited for the footy i don't know having a week off so early in the season felt a bit strange because you kind of g'd up you know start of the season you're up and about and then you know you got to have a week off um just keen to get stuck back into it man i missed you boys had a week off from you guys miss carl especially <laughs> moose's uh mustache and his beard <laughs> mustache uh, yeah. Good one, these ones. yeah i love his mustache <laughs> hey, look at it moose how you going uh, it was good. It was good. I cancelled my uh, ten fifteen Monday telehealth appointment, which was good. Didn't need that, and the, uh, blood, the, the blood pressure monitor's got some cobwebs on it, so it's fantastic. Looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> Carl, <how are> Carl. <laughs> oh, I wish mine was as fun as George's, man. That would have been pretty, pretty hectic on that plane. Eventful, very eventful. But yeah. I don't. Would, would, what would you have done differently? Hooked her straight to the milk. <laughs> <laughs> I would have told, told her to subscribe to the Monday Blues. <laughs> like, share, nah. and subscribe. Nice, nice, quite, uh, quite leak off. Um, yeah, ready, ready to go for tomorrow. To stress mm. again. Well, let's have a look at the teams. A um, few changes for Carlton. Um, some really, really good changes as well. So going out of the side, we've got Lewis Young and Brody Kemp who have been admitted with David Cunningham um, who's been listed as injured. Um, we have a deb debutant in Elijah Hollins coming in for his first game off the back of a two-game drug ban. And uh, Caleb Marchbank and Jacob Reader are returning to the side for 2024. Some good ins there. Um, a bolstering of our back line. Not that it really, well, it kind of did with, with Wittering coming back in, but a, a very, very strong back line. And we'll, we'll start there with uh, with Carlton's back line. Caleb Marchbank, Jacob Wittering, Zach Williams, Adam Saad, Mitch McGovern, Nick Newman going against uh, going against the forward line of Cameron Zerha, Callum Coleman-Jones, Charlie Lazaro, Paul Curtis, Nick Larkey, and Zane Dersma. Is that the other Dersma's brother? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I thought so. Big raps uh, on him. Hey? Mm. Big raps on him. Yeah, he look, looks good. He looks good. Uh, midfields for Carlton, Ollie Hollands, Paddy Cripps, Blake Akers, and following Tom DeConning, Adam Chera, and George Hewitt uh, going up against Dylan Stevens, Luke LDU, Colby McHercher, um, Tristan Jerry, 
George Wardlaw and Jai Simkin. Forward line for Carlton, Matty Owies, Harry Mackay, Matty Kennedy, Elijah Hollins, Charlie Kerno, Lockie Fogarty going against the back line of Luke McDonald, Aidan Kaur, Callan Dawson, Harry Sheasel, Toby Pink, and our old boy, Zach Fisher. We'll be facing him for the first time since Boo. he's a... <laughs> Boo, indeed. Um, we'll be going up against um, old mate Zach for the first time. Interchange bench, Jordan Boyd, Jack Carroll, Matty Cottrell, Orazio Fantasia, Corey Durden, um, for North, Darcy Tucker, Tom Powell, Bailey Scott, Eddie Ford, Jaden Stevenson, and emergencies, Lewis Young, Mark Pitney, Jackson Bins, and Liam Shields, Blake Drury, and Hugh Greenwood. Now, surely, surely Carlton has it in them. 4,000 points. To, <laughs> <laughs> to at least walk away with, with, with a 10-goal win here. Surely, surely. You know what? North's a bogey team for us. I know we always say this every year. Everyone's a baggy team. I'm certainly not wrong. But like, we'll, we'll come out, we'll, we'll get up by 80 points and then full sign goes and the full-time sign goes and we've won by 18. They, yeah. they were up at half-time last year. Yeah. Um, Larky always does well against us. He loves yeah. playing us. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if you caught um, Clarkson's comments um, or Karen Butch Media, what it was, or on the AFL app. Um they asked him about, you know, how you're going to deal with uh, Charlie and, and Harry, of course, because they kicked 10 between them last year. And he said outside of, you know, throwing a couple of hand grenades at them, <laughs> 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 you, you just got to hope and try and beat them. But, yeah, so he's um, he's clutching at straws. But... And, and and don't forget, they're, they're missing, like, Griffin Logue, key defenders out. Um, Who's that? The, <laughs> <laughs> the Griffin, he had that nasty ACL last year. They had uh, the other guy, Goda, as well, the other key defender, the young young kid as well. He's out as well. So they're, they're depleted. And obviously um, not there anymore. Yes, yes. And Harry's, of mm. course, playing this game. So would have been nice. But we'll save that for King's birthday. I'm, I'm again, just we kick straight. Bro, we're going to win by 15 goals if we kick straight. I've been watching a lot of footy, right? And when we watch Carlton play, we're always like, oh, man, you know, we're not – I don't know if we're doing this right. I don't know if we're doing that right. Bit messy here, a bit rough there. But then when you watch other teams play, like I watched Essendon Hawthorne play a couple of weeks ago, and I just remember thinking, we are miles ahead of both these teams, like in every single aspect. Mm. North is a good team, but like realistically speaking, we should put them away by quite a bit considering where we're going to end up and where they're going to end up. But we have this weird, weird thing where we play to the level of our opponent. Yeah. And that's what worries me. Like we we kind of get dragged down to the level of the team we're playing against. And I hope, you know, with maturity that that has kind of gone away. We kind of did it against Richmond. Mm. Um, but I'm like, obviously I'm not stressed, but. I just want to win, and I want to. I want to make a statement with this one. We need to learn to punish the opposition. Yes, exactly. Percentage, percentage yeah. is is key, right? We, we've got to like. We, look, you look at last year. We were always consistently. I think we had the the worst or the second worst percentage in the top eight, only because we were you know winning by small margins or whatnot. We had the wins on the board, but and you look at obviously this year. You know, slimmest of margins two weeks in a row. So you need these are the ones where you really have to put some points on the board. Um, and I guess, and we're going to talk about the ends, but it's it's where you can take a few risks and gambles by, you know, playing two blokes that had very interrupted preseasons and no competitive games straight in. So, mm-hmm. but it's it's one where you really got you put put it, you put your foot down. You can try a few different things, but we need to punish. And, and they're, they're a great young team. They're going to be very good in a couple of years. You know, McKercher, Wardlaw, Sheezel. That's some gun young gun. players. He, I love him. I love him. Mm-hmm. So, but for now. Whilst they're you know young, they're depleted. These are the the matches that we really should be demonstrating our ability and putting it to mm-hmm. putting the sword to them. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was watching the uh, the Richmond replay, um, and we we seriously dominated them. Uh, n- not only just in the second quarter in particular, but through I think throughout the whole game, our, our ball m- movement was quite slick. Um, a lot of handball chains, forward movement. It, it was it was brilliant. I think the one thing that really really let us down against Richmond was a obviously our goal kicking that was that was pretty woeful, especially in the second quarter, which we where we kicked what was it three six mm. or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Um, but secondly, our deliveries into our forward fifty could use some improvement as well, right? Just getting them a bit deeper, 
lower our eyes. Um, and to be honest, I think I think that could be the difference between you know this, these one or two point victories that we've had over the last two games compared to a, a proper thumping, which North could be in for. Um, I'm excited. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> just know we're going to turn to each other at half time, stressed. Surely not, man. Uh, Surely not. Yeah, hey, that, cheers well, to everyone in the chat, by the way. Um, what, what, love the conversation that's happening in there. Yeah, shout out to uh, our good friend Morris, uh, who's commented, is that is that bloke Andy a model? Um, yeah, Andy, if you want to give those famous eyelashes a bat there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> for all the ladies and Morris. <laughs> <coughs> for those watching along let us know um are there any particular players that you um will be keeping an eye out uh tomorrow against um against north uh, what would you like to see uh, the blues improve on and what would you like them um to continue with let us know in the chat um, hit that like button guys mm. yeah hit the like button if you haven't subscribed make sure that you have subscribed um and um i don't think there's anything else is there anything else on the list that get I need your to pants get? off pants mm. off yeah mm. It's nearly Friday. Yep. Hey, uh, just quickly, do you think um, it's stiff, Brody Kemp? Yeah, yes, stiff nah. pants. And, nope. Uh... Nope. 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 Why? I think no. I think that was an excellent decision to manage him. Is he managed or dropped? Like, uh, is he, admitted, or admitted. injured? Admitted. Admitted. Yeah, yeah. I think that was an excellent call. I, I I think he's way too fumbly. I don't know if it's confidence yeah. or <clears throat> he's been clumsy. Yeah, I just, I mean, Lewis Young as well. Like I, I was pretty, pretty stoked that I mean, Weeders. He's always gonna make mm. way for Weeders, but um, look, I, I like Kemp. I think he still has a lot to bring to the team. Um, where's Chincotta? That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, but Chin- Chincotta's a half. Like, he yeah, plays yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but I, he I can play that. that lock role as well. I, I yeah, get that, but, but where is he? Like, is it just because Williams is in? He's been pushed out. Yeah, yeah. Where, yeah Williams and Boyd. Boyd as well. Mm. As well. Boyd, Saad, and and McGovern. Unlucky but, man. I don't know. I thought he, um, I thought he he did well enough to uh, like to keep his spot. You know, over the pre, unless he hasn't trained well. You know, it could I think be we'll bad. see him. I think we'll see him in the next couple of weeks. I hope so. Yeah, because I'm a big fan of Chinquita, man. Yeah, mm. he's good. Same. A question, going back to camp. A question for you guys and for the chat as well. Feel free to jump in the comments. Like I get what you're talking about, Andy. He does like he'll do one really good thing, and then he'll follow it up with a bit of a brain fade. So I don't know if you remember last week against Richmond the week before, he took that really good intercept, and I think he kicked it into Rioli at a pivotal time in the game. Um, so he'll 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 do a couple of really good things, and he's strong overhead and whatnot. But I think, like you said, there's a couple of things that he wants he needs to be sharper at. But a question for everyone: like, Do you think that the Marchbank in um, and Kemp out, like 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 Marchbank? You know, he had that long COVID. He was um, allegedly lost a lot of weight. Um, you know, he was quite unwell. No preseason games. Like he, I think he got sick just before the practice matches, so he had a decent preseason. But you know, I thought maybe he'd come back through the VFL. But do you think this decision speaks more to Voss's trust in Marchbank, or do you think it's more of a you know sharpen up to Kemp? Or it could it be tactical with with weed is back? What are, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'll probably just uh, off off the bat. I don't think it's a tactical thing. I think probably Andy to your point, he, Marchbank's probably just trained a house down. Mm. Kemp hasn't been bad, but has he cemented his spot? Probably not. It's definitely not a matchup thing. It's not like we need an extra tall because of North or anything. Um, yeah, it's probably behind the scenes. Marchbank's done all the right things and got himself right and have a dip against North. Foss did mention that uh, both Weeders and Marchbank have have ticked all the boxes and have been working very very hard behind the scenes. So yeah. you're probably right there. Yeah. Mm. Don't know. Yeah, I, I um I think Marchbank is just a walk in startup to be honest. I, mm. I think he's that good. I think he's that I important. Remember, I remember last year when he when he when he came in, it was quite quite late in the season, and we had to win pretty much everything, and he was. I think I, I vividly recall saying he does one good thing and then stuffs up three mm-hmm. things and then does one good thing. And um, the first couple of games when Marchback returned, I remember he was quite, quite rough raw, around the edges. Rough around the edges is, is exactly what, what I was trying to look for. Um, he was rough around the edges, but then he, he, he very, very quickly jumped levels. Very, very quickly. Yeah. I just hope I just hope we don't have to sort of go through that again this year. Or even though look, it's early on in, in the season and there's not much on the line just yet. 
um but hopefully hopefully he just sort of continues with that with that same at that same level that he had last year the only thing is if he comes in and cements that spot again and you know gels with weeders and they get the two two, two main uh, forwards and whatnot and secure that you, you won't see Kemp for the rest of the year a good a good comment um from J Baggers, JW, Marchi, and McGovern is so good. Modern football is about interception and scores from turnover, and you got three very, very good interceptors. Mm-hmm. So good call. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, having Wedering back to chop out those those kicks in, and you know, provide that contest against Larky. And then you saw, I think it was the Sydney game. Marchbank was huge with intercept marks as well um, at clutch moments as well. And we know what McGovern's been doing. Like his, his first couple of games have been fantastic. So, and, and I think you know, you're bringing in two players. With an, a quite interrupted preseason, like this is the game to probably do it. Yeah, man, we just look so much stronger in defence. I was just reading uh, Peter V. Bluebagger. Now you can see the sh- the backline strength, and that is absolutely right. We looked so vulnerable against Richmond. They scored pretty much at will, apart from the last you know five or so minutes. Pretty much every because t- we dominated for three a, a good two and a half quarters of the game. Yeah. But every time they went forward, they'd score. We looked so vulnerable. There was no leadership in our defense. And just getting weeders back especially. And and look, Lucky loves to play on weeders. Yeah. Lucky's got weeders in his back pocket as of late. So maybe it's the competitor in weeders that just told Voss, listen, man, chuck me in. I'm, I'm good to go. I want to smash mm-hmm. this bloke. So who knows, man? I, I'm just – I'm really happy we start to – see that spine again that spine is kind of strengthened again yeah you know yeah yeah mm. uh, just on intercepts i think uh, i can't remember where i heard it, it might have been sen or somewhere but carlton's one wood which is the, the contest um and and stoppages has been taken away from us in the last couple of games what we have been excelling in is um scores of um turnovers mm. um I, I think in the last game it was 10 goals that we kicked uh, yeah. memory, uh, which is which is insane. So it'd be good to to bolt that onto our 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 one wood, which is stoppages and, and and clearances and and um all of that all of that good stuff. And then yeah, it it's it's hard to see us not win by a big margin, hmm. thirty plus, forty plus, fifty plus. Love but then again, I remember <laughs> what freaking Carl said. Is that there, this is a bogey team, and then I remember last <laughs> last year. No, no. When's the last time we put away a side bar West Coast? Someone Hawthorne. answer that. Hawthorne, Gold Coast. How much? Yeah. How much? Win by? Sixty plus each one. Remember mm. that little streak we had after yeah. the uh, Gold Coast. Yeah. I think Gold Coast, Hawthorne, uh, Frio. We had a decent win against Frio. Yeah. Frio was, Port. Yeah. Port was Collie, a big win. Port was forty odd, odd points. Yeah. Remember, we were, we were just like the, the the confidence, the horse behind Moose. Remember those, <laughs> those, those, <laughs> <laughs> the the number, the number, and the, the, the oh mate, good times. Uh, we we were walking around like ten men. Oh, that Carlton swagger was yeah. back. Yeah, it was good. So, it was mm, really hopefully good. a bit more consistent with that this year. But yeah, so it's uh, what, what are your what are your thoughts on um, Elijah Holland straight back in? And it sounds like Voss was was very like he's, again ticked all the boxes. Had a really really good preseason. What do you how do you guys reckon he'll um he'll go? What are your thoughts on, on his? I'm a big fan inclusion. of that, but has he has he played much other than practice? You know, Ollie's played more games. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's right. It's, it, Ollie's played 21 to his 14. Um, mm. So that's that, that's the other thing, right? Let's let's be a bit like, I guess, not cautious or wary, but let's like not set the the roof right. too high on um, the butt too high on Holland's. Like he, you know, he's 21. He had an ACL, played 14 games. So. Um, but he always played more games. But he he, he he had he had he was playing in the in the practice matches. So yeah, obviously just yeah I, think so. I loved him in the practice game. Yeah, yeah. it was fantastic. Some really good good sharp. passages. Mm. He's and Melbourne football. Melbourne were going full ball against us too, and he stood mm. up quite well. So yeah, I'm I'm a fan of okay. um, Elijah. I, I like I like that we're just putting faith in these players. You know what I mean? Even the Marchi thing, like straight in. Even having Jack Carroll as a sub round one. And I think, I don't know who wrote it in the comments. Someone was asking about Jack Carroll. Like, two games, he's done quite well. I love that we've stuck with him. Yeah. I, I hope when Walsh, because they're saying Walsh is two or three away, I hope Carroll's even elevated his game in that time, in, in the next two or three weeks, to be able to say, hang on a sec, I'm not going to be that easy guy that you're just going to push out of the side. 
I want him to have a really big crack over the next, you know, two to four weeks. Um, just to really make the selectors think. Like Walsh is gonna come in regardless. So it's just yeah, it'll be good to see Carroll cement his spot. He's a he's a good player. I'm a fan of him. Mm. So yeah, I'm really happy with Carroll as well. And that and that now, you know, puts not the pressure, but I guess the onus now on, on guys like Matt Kennedy to to step up and be consistent and hold his place in the team as well. Um George Hewitt's been all right of late, but that's that's the uh, it's a good problem to have, right? So while she comes mm. back in, um, you know, you're gonna have your chair Crips there. Crips Crips might might take next week off. His missus is uh is due next week, so all the best to them. Is he um, taking next week off? No, he, he, he said he's going to fly in after the team. Um, but if she, yeah, he she won't play. Birth, he won't play. Oh, so. <laughs> Come on, Cooper. Can- cancel the trip. Mate. Cancel the kid. All the best. All the best. That's a good point, Andy. With um, with old Carroll. Remember, was it last year? Sort of the start or to the mid last year, we were seeing Kennedy and Hewitt not play. Because, you yeah. know, we had Walsh, Crip, and one of those, like, we, we never had all four uh, along with Cherry the fifth. So they were struggling to get a game. Yeah. Well, that's depth, yeah? This is mm. this is why we recruited. Good problem to have. Exactly. This mm. is good teams. I was speaking to my Uncle Sam last night, and um, he was saying, like, if you look at our list, we, we pretty much have two solid lists. We've got a great first list, and our second list is, like, we're, we're, mm. pretty, we're in a great position to really make a charge for a, a premiership. And this is when, like, when a team has two solid lists, I'll tell you what, I'm not thinking one. I'm thinking I'm thinking <laughs> three, Pete. I'm thinking, you know, make a legacy <laughs> out of this. Four, four or five years ago, we'd get an injury, and then some bloke would be coming like, who's that? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the VFL. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it, it, isn't it interesting that this time last year, or maybe a couple of weeks further into the season, you know, there were questions of, are we overrating our list? Are we, mm. you know, do we have the rose scented glasses on and, and, you know, are we too, you know, um, the fact that we're saying, you know, the opposition fans were, you know, saying, oh, when did you ever think that you were contenders? Like, that's not realistic or whatnot. But honestly speaking, I think the 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 consistency of, of, of the way we've played and the like the way you know the contested footy and using it to our strength as well and bullying teams it's been a joy to watch but Has defensively been. so well petra Khan in, in the chat Cooper is very selfish starting a family should be fine <laughs> <laughs> unless it's uh going to be a son for the father son selection in the future yeah. <laughs> It's not, but um, no, Amal, you know, sorry, can you, is it possible to get the team back up? Who are our small forwards this week? I know always is in. Yeah. Fantasia's still in. <clears throat> Durden, Fantasia. Okay, Motlock. Durden. No, didn't Durden yeah. get dropped? No, nah, he's in. No. Nah. Fogarty. No. Nah. Uh, Durden. Cunningham went out. Cunningham okay. went out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. The only one I like that I think he's done enough there is probably uh, Fogarty. Yeah. I haven't, seen, any... pressure is next yeah. I haven't yeah. seen anything we from say Durden. It every week. I haven't seen anything from Fantasia. Durden's a week back straight in. Straight back in. Yeah. D- Durden's a week. Uh, uh, Durden's a week. Durden's, yeah, Durden's a week in. So, yeah. um, again, I said this against Richmond. I want to see Durden take a game by the scruff of the neck. I want him to kick three or four goals in a game. This is his chance. Bro, he won't last long. Mm. Like With the amount of depth we have, he'll just be a forgotten player. If he doesn't take his chances now, because like we said, someone, one of you boys just said now, Motlock straight in. Mm. So Motlock Mar- is going to be. Martin as well. Motlock is a 10, 15 year player, you know, and, and Martin as well. So, yeah, I don't know. I think the pressure is really on Owies and Durden to perform, and I think more so on Durden. Mm. So, mm. a bit unfortunate, Martin. Hurting his hammy while recovering from his knee, or the other way around, or whatnot. So yeah, hopefully... we should we should see him back by round thirteen or fourteen, two thousand twenty-six. Yep. Haven't heard a mention of a calf yet. That'll come. <laughs> let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Anyway, let's uh, let's get on with the predictions. Uh, for those watching along, um, let us know what you think the winning margin is going to be. Uh, leading goal kicker and best on ground. Don't Most hit the like button with you. 
Come by. Ooh, the whole game's going to be doing um, fasting. So I reckon Saad's going to smash and win by. What's his number? On his 42. 42. That's it. 42 points. <laughs> win by 42 points. Most goals. Charlie's going to kick seven. Charlie's going to kick seven. Hmm. Jeez. Yeah, we'll go with that. I like that. 42, Charlie with seven. What else? What else do you want from me? Best on ground. Charlie with best Best on on ground. ground. Acres. Acres. Blake Acres. Acres. With one on the full. (laughs) He's back. (laughs) Carl. Uh, Best on ground. Creeper. The creeper of the bull. Um, Harry with five. Maybe six, potentially seven. Make Harry's up your mind, man. <laughs> Harry's going to kick most. Um, I'm going to say Carlton by 31. Hopefully it's 51. Could be 61. Conservative. <laughs> <laughs> JJ in the chat. Carlton by 0.3. Best on ground. Cripper's kid. <clears throat> Interesting. Cripper's <laughs> kid. Peter V. Bluebagger, Charlie Six Goals, Chera, <laughs> Chera, Best on Ground and Blues by 36 points. Chera's and... due. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened there? What I missed? So move on, move on. Carry on. <laughs> Petra, I hope TDK <laughs> puts in a big performance so important to our chances this year. Play the song, you. George. Agree, big time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I heard something else, Moose, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, 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 I'll say a good joke that I heard. Um, oh, that yeah. I, I think I've said it a lot, but uh, yeah, it's a great joke. It's like, I, I sorry, I, I heard something else from Moose, but <clears throat> a fun little joke, and it's not racist. I promise you. It might sound it initially, but how does a Jewish Kiwi answer the phone? <laughs> Hebrew. <laughs> Kick him out, please. Please kick him out so, right now. Those in the chat, use it at your next meeting icebreaker or whatnot. Have a laugh. Hit the like button. But uh, anyway, is it, my, is it my turn? It's more please of a safety share, but anyway. Turn, That's a good joke. That's a good joke. Um, now pick Harry Sheasel as your best on ground. Go. Harry Sheasel, B-O-G. Sheasel's Cheezels. No, no, no. Um, Jesus Christ. Callum by 52. Callum by 52. Um, Harry with six. And Harry was six. Harry, Harry loves Marvel. Yeah, I want to see yeah. some drop punts, so yeah. I'm going to back Harry in for six. Mm, um, mm. And I, <laughs> um, and and I will I will back I will back Harry for Bog. To be honest, um, I You've think he'll, I think I think he'll he'll be taking marks everywhere. How do you still hate Harry, bro? I don't hate. Sort of about why, hate. Why are you so cut that he said? Harry was going to be better Harry B O G. Harry this, Harry that. Let him play a couple of consistent games, and we'll go for that. He, he yes. literally had a couple of consistent. games. A couple games. of two. <laughs> what more do you want from the bloke? Fair Mush call. can't wait till Harry has a dud game. I he's told, like, oh, I told <laughs> you so. I told you so. <laughs> him and his beard just. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who's next? Andy. <sighs> who's next? Carlton by eighty-six points. I think we demolish them. I'm going to say Harry, Charlie, kick four each. I'm going to say I'm going to back Dirds. Dirds is going to kick three. Always is going to kick two. I'll give you the whole rundown. What's the, the, what's the score? The total score? How many goals? How many points? We are going to kick. We're kicking 20 goals on tomorrow. We are kicking 20. Mark my words. Mark these words, everybody. 20 goals we're kicking tomorrow. And if we don't, Moose has to shave his beard. What the? How do I get that? <laughs> um, no, nah, honestly, I think I think we smash him. I'm going to say 86 points. Um, best on ground. I'm going to get. I'm going to go out of the box here, and I am going to say Matthew Cottrell. Matty Cottrell is going to have 24 disposals. He's going to kick three goals. Jeez. Mm-hmm. That's my uh, call. Big, big, Maddie big. Maddie <clears throat> Uh For me, it's going to be pretty simple. I reckon Carlton's going to win by 10. Harry's going to kick six. And Harry's also going to have the best on ground with that performance. 
What was what? Go say it was. <laughs> I'm just going to shut my mouth here, Mel. Any blokes picking Harry for best on ground? He's played two games. He was best on ground for one and probably yeah. in the top Saddle. three for the other. Saddle. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, he got I 10 agree. coaches votes, bro. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Fair call. Anyway. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to go back to the footy. Um, we, we have pretty good seats at Marvel. Um, thanks to thanks to the Carlton Legends Lounge, uh, we get a good view. Um, level two at Marvel's always, always really, really nice. Um, Don't we have to upgrade? Yeah, the upgrade's finished as well. So I think all the construction there's done. The stadium's oh, ready I'm, to go. <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking it's about not a home game, game, bro. Oh, oh, isn't up, it? Oh, yeah, uh, I, no, I think we, we upgraded game. to level two for the away. We're yeah, still level okay. two. Yeah. Okay, well, we're still level two. Thanks. I don't know me. whereabouts, but we're still level two. But uh, it's um, the Give upgrades. Give our uh, seat numbers as well if yeah. you want. If you want to oh, come yeah. look more. So. <laughs> <laughs> the upgrades um, are looking all right. I'm keen to see. Um, I haven't been to Marvel, Marvel. since. Um, no. Since last year, I don't know if anyone went to the um, Matilda's game or the Pink concerts recently. There's a lot of people mm. at Marvel, so let us know how it is. Mm. And and Good Friday Super Clash get around Good Friday appeal really good yep. really good um, dig yeah. deep guys cause it's going to be a good game it will good be. cause it will be hopefully we see uh, some of you that are watching along at the game tomorrow if you do don't forget to say hi um, but other than that gents I'm excited to see you all tomorrow at four twenty at Marvel Stadium as the Baggers take on North Melbourne Kangaroos for round three. Until then, and until the review, it is Sayonara from the Monday Blues. Thanks, gents. Sick, you know, now. <laughs>